hello youtube welcome back to yet another video this is alicia's kitchen so in today's video i'll be making this festive pineapple mustard honey glazed ham now let's jump right into this video So guys, in this sauce pot, I have my smoked ham. This is already cooked. I find that this, well, it's more convenient than the raw one. It takes too much time to cook, so I prefer this one. So in this pot, I'm going to just pour some pineapple juice. I already poured some, but it soaked up a lot of it. So I'm just going to pour some more pineapple juice over. You can use pineapple juice or orange juice. And I'm just going to let that cook for about 15 minutes. And if you're using uncooked ham, just preheat your oven to 325 degrees and place your ham on a roasting rack. And you want to bake that for about 34 hours until the internal temperature reaches 145 degrees Fahrenheit. So guys, I'll be doing two different glaze. I'll be using pineapple. I'll be doing pineapple glaze and also honey mustard glaze. So for my pineapple glaze, I'm just reducing pineapple juice and brown sugar. So now guys, as you can see, my glaze has already reduced and I'm just going to base my ham with that. And guys, my ham was already pre-sliced, so I'm just making sure that every crevice and corner guys is glazed, okay? Everything. So for my second glaze, I'm using my mustard. This is a no-name brand mustard and honey. And I'll also be using a little bit just the remainder of that pineapple reduction. Now I'll be using a pastry brush to brush, brush my ham and this is going to give it a beautiful golden brown color when it goes in the oven. And guys, this was a perfect combination of sweet and savory. And if you have any leftover glaze, you can always use it, use it for sandwiches. And yeah, this was just the best ham I've ever made. Like, you guys have to make this. Like, it was just amazing. Like, hello. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> Oh, and guys, you can also use pineapple, you know, just to decorate it or, you know, garnish or just to give it additional flavor. Pineapple slice, cherries, clove. Mine was practically pre-sliced, so I just didn't bother. So I'm just going to put this in the oven for about 15 minutes until it's golden brown honey. And guys, this is the finished product. Perfectly glazed. It was tender. It was it was juicy. It was tasty. It was everything. You could practically taste all the ingredients I add to this glaze. You can taste everything. You can taste the pineapple. You can taste the honey. You can taste the mustard. You can taste everything. Anyways, guys, I love you guys so much for stopping by. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, guys. Give this video a big thumbs up if you like it. Comment, share, go follow me on Instagram at Alicia's underscore kitchen. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. Mwah.